So graduation is a thing that just happened to me, and it really is a beautiful thing. This ceremony, this sacred ceremony that we've created for a very specific purpose. You go to school for 12 years, cheat on a load of tests, suffer from soul-crushing anxiety, all so that you can walk on a stage for a piece of paper. And then you do that again if you're going to college, except this time, on top of everything that I just mentioned, you also have student loan debt, which has real-world consequences, and if you don't pay it back, you could end up in Monkey Meadow for all of eternity. I don't know how the court system works, I just know that Amber Heard is the bad one. Ew, boo, yuck. Please like the video. But instead of taking that route, moving into full adulthood and attending university, uni mate, I'm gonna make video and live in box. I think that this has always been the path that I was eventually gonna take, even though right now my subscriber count doesn't match up to the 581,348 people of Wyoming, and there's not that much content to watch on the channel, I've actually been making videos for like 10 years. This is literally a video of me from Christmas Eve 2012. And yeah, this is my this is my giant monitor and that's my real laptop over there right behind me. And yeah, guys, I'm recording this from my iPod if you guys are wondering. And you go, and you guys might be wondering, "John, why are you recording this from your iPod?" Well, just because I wanted to show my face in all of you. Yeah. Crazy, right? Instead of hanging out with my family for Christmas Eve and making core memories, instead I was trying to be a combination of Skyda's Minecraft, Gizzy, Gaza, all the works. And the funny part is, I'm still doing the same shit, except now I'm trying to be like Dweem. I love you guys. I basically grew up with all the YouTubers I watched being role models, which honestly wasn't as bad as it sounds. I mean, look at how cool I turned out. And I remember something in common that they all said was, ah, you know what, man, I, I really just didn't think a nine to five was gonna be my thing, you know? And and I'll tell you the truth, they were all probably just lazy. Nobody wanting to conform to society. I mean, who really wouldn't take setting your own hours and being your own boss? I want to be the Papa of Papa's Pizzeria. That would be freaking awesome. Maybe it's the masculine desire of Gurren Lagann to reach for the skies or the feminine desire of Aku no Hana to manipulate men. But I think everyone wants to be funny for money. It rhymes, so it must make sense. Some people will go for it and make goofy, gaffy, laffy, taffy TikTok. Others will bend to the pressure of G-Man and get a degree in like computer science or something. I'm definitely in the first boat, but instead I make videos about anime and manga, you know, safe for work cultured materials. And it's mostly because that's 90% of what I consume nowadays. The rest is disguised toast modded among us. I also just generally enjoy talking about this stuff. So if you ever have like an opinion that you want to share, you can tweet it at ADA Jingle or comment. And if it's the opposite of mine, I'll just block you. This year has definitely been goofy though, to say the least. In the past, I've always just kept all this a secret, never told a single soul except for the few times it slipped out like a banana peel. Whoop! However, for this year, I really wanted to be honest with myself and who I am. Making videos and entertaining people is something that is really important to me, and I almost always never get to show it. So to make up for all those times that I wasn't being true to myself, I just started telling everyone who asked, and I still cringe every single time. I think that'll never change, even if I become wildly successful. It's still dummy awkward for everyone involved because content creation is just so hard for people that touch grass to understand. And so yeah, me wanting to make video and live in box wasn't just a last minute decision. I've been wanting to live in a box since I was a kid. You can do anything with a cardboard box. You can eat it, make Nintendo Labo, <laughs> go sledding. There is no snow where I live. But nevertheless, it's going to be interesting because I fully recognize that this could go totally wrong. Nobody ever should put their fate into doing something like this. But I will, and I think I'll be fine. I'm sure this will be fine. Right future me, right future audience. <laughs> I just graduated. Graduated high school. I'm invincible. <laughs>